morning! Welcome to another day in Anaheim, California. Today it is... I'm just going to turn this off. There we go. Uh, today is the Walking in Waltz Footsteps Tour and the walking part is going to be slightly more difficult for me today because my feet are killing me. As you come under the train station on the left hand side, there's a guided tours station there. So that's why I need to check in in a few minutes. Uh, until then, I'm just going to have a nice little sledgy stroll to myself. I do need to get some other prizes. The Emporium in Disneyland is just its so beautiful. And the level of detail that they put in it is just insane. I love a chandelier. I love a chandelier. Look at this alien headband, like you turn the lights on and the eyes turn with you. That's so cool. I'm in the process of checking in right now. I've got my adorable little badge. Look how cute that is. Uh, and I've got a menu for, I don't know where, but basically I get to choose a sandwich or a salad and then a dessert and a bottle of drink. Nice. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to film, but if there's some opportunities to get a quick clip here and there, I'll of course do my best. But otherwise, I will meet you after the tour. We're going on Alice in Wonderland, and this is the one ride I've never done at Disneyland. Just finished the tour and it was so good. I loved it. It ended up being uh, just over three hours. Um, started at 9.30, finished at one o'clock. Really nice. We got to go in Walt's apartment, which is just above the fire station there. Um, it is technically a backstage area, so I couldn't take any pictures or video. However, they did let uh, me get a picture of myself in the apartment and I will share that now. It was something very special, uh, quite emotional actually, like just going up there being like, this is the room Walt built for himself and his family, and this is where they actually hung out for a good 10 years um, after Disneyland was built. So the tour was worth it even just for that. Um, I've got a special commemorative pin. Uh, in fact, let me get it out and I'll show you. Look how cute it is. And it comes on a commemorative Walt Disney postcard. And when you open up, it has the dedication to Disneyland and a little quote from Walt as well. So yeah, something very special. I'm glad I have it. The tour took us basically everywhere. Uh, we had two attractions, which was uh, Alice in Wonderland, which I showed you guys. Very impressed by that as well. Like obviously it's been updated since it was uh, originally built, which is nice. And what was the other thing we did? Enchanted Tiki Room. Didn't have to do that, but I've never done it here, and it was kind of nice to see the comparison between that and Walt Disney World. So, um, yeah, no, it was worth every single penny. I would definitely recommend it. I had a tour guide, uh, Sam, she was amazing, and met some really nice people on the tour as well. So, worthwhile experience, had a really good time. 
Uh, and now I have a fast pass for Indiana Jones at Temple of Peril. You may or may not know about the story of the little man of Disneyland. Uh, basically, before Disneyland was being built, there was a tiny little man from Ireland, a little leprechaun, uh, who lived on the property where Disneyland is currently built. So when Mickey, Pluto, and I think Donald came over to actually build Disneyland, they had to ask him very nicely if they could build on his land. And he said yes on the understanding that they would build a house for him in Disneyland. So if you wanted to see his house, uh, come over to Indiana Jones' The Temple of Peril and you'll find a, a tree with, uh, I think, something Begora? Mr. Begora? I'm not sure on the name, but you can see the house there. This is honestly the coolest queue line they have in Disney. Like anyone. Well, Pandora is pretty good. Quite quiet passage. I don't know, it's up there. Top five. One cool fact about the Indiana Jones Temple of Peril ride is it's the same ride system and actually the same track layout as Dinosaur in Walt Disney World. So, going on this, I'm going to see if I can see any similarities. Because I know the Dinosaur track pretty well, um, but because of the way that they built it, and they've like, themed it, it's completely different. It even smells like Dinosaur, which is weird. The temple contains a chamber of destiny. Where an ancient idol lured visitors with promises of gifts, eternal youth, earthly riches. I've had a really good morning. Uh, the tour was fantastic. Indiana Jones was really fun. Uh, if you missed it in a previous vlog, it's been down for the past few days. So I haven't had the chance to go on it. So I'm glad I've done it this trip. It's, it's, it's been checked off the list. <sighs> now I'm heading into my favorite park in the world, Carrefour and Adventure. Uh, I'm only gonna be in here for a couple of hours because I'm meeting my friends Tanani and Kieran this evening. Uh, you probably would have seen them in a previous vlog series. Um, if you watch the previous LA slash California vlog series. Um, we are planning on going for dinner at Napa Rose, which is the Grand Californian. It's like the equivalent of the Grand Floridian. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But I want to chill out and like re myself before we head out. So for that reason, I'm going to go and get an ice cream from Clarabelle's, which I've had my eye on. And then I've got a couple of fast passes. And then it's on with the show. I'm either going to get Mickey's confetti or the whole herd. So basically you can choose your bar. Um, so either vanilla bean, milk chocolate or mixed berry. 
Then you choose what chocolate you want on top of it, and then what toppings you want as well. Uh, I think with the Mickey's confetti, you get confetti. That's it. She's got a loud voice. She's in the right job. Thank you. I feel like this is going to be easier said than done, but uh. This is the uh, location of the new Inside Out attraction coming soon, uh, which is a repurposing of Flix flyers by the looks of it, which uh, used to be in a bug side plan. That woke me up. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, oh my god, I think my throat's dry from screaming. But uh oh, anyway. Da -da -da -da. I'm like in a daze, that was so good. Right, anyway. Um, one thing I've noticed about Disneyland this time is that unfortunately because it's so busy I haven't been able to do rides that don't feature fast passes. Not really anyway. Because um, I want to do like the kiddie rides. I say kiddie rides, like the, the lesser intense rides like Mater's spin thing and uh, Luigi's. But they have like 45 minute waits and whilst I love them they're not worth 45 minute waits. Sorry. Tiff was telling me yesterday that the lemon frosted treat here is pretty good. <laughs> Having
having seen the amount of land that they've actually got available for the Marvel expansion where Bugs Life used to be, it's going to be ridiculous. Uh, I think Tiff will say that they've announced a Spider-Man attraction, but I think a lot of it is still under wraps at the moment. I think we're going to learn more uh, after D23, uh, which is in summer. I'm not actually going to D23. It wasn't for me. I didn't enjoy my experience at D23 last time I went. Um, so I won't be vlogging that, <laughs> I'm afraid. But I can also tell you now that Gary and I are going to Disneyland Paris. So you'll be able to enjoy some vlogs from Disneyland Paris coming up soon. And potentially some UK theme parks as well. I'd love to share it with you guys, but I'll see you afterwards. I've got a couple of hours until I meet Nani and Kieran for dinner. Uh, I don't want to get washed and dressed and stuff before we actually go out for dinner, so I'm going to head back to the room now. I take my shoes off because my feet are burning. And have a little relax. Maybe get a Starbucks in the resort. Mm, I'm comfortable. Had a shower. Feeling uh, a little bit more alive. I also got a coffee from downstairs in the little Starbucks. $6.50 though. I'm pretty sure that's more pricey than a normal Starbucks. I might be mistaken on that, but you know, I am meeting Kanani and Tiran. That's not how you say the names. Kieran and Tanani a little bit later. Kieran's gonna meet me at the Grand California at about 7 p.m. So I've got an hour and a half to myself um, just to chill out here, maybe have some caramel M&Ms. Probably have some caramel and caramel and caramel and M and M's. That caramel M and M's. That's hard to say. You try and say it. But I'm gonna chill out now. Right, I'm looking a little bit fancier now. I've had a had a nice wash. Got my hair did. Put a nice shirt on. Uh, this is from Hollister. Got it in the sale. Literally every single piece of clothing I own, I only buy in sale. I think I've maybe bought one shirt full price, and even then I saw it go into sale afterwards, and I was like, why did I do that? Why? <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna walk the way that I came the last time. No, not the last time. On the When I first arrived and I went to downtown Disney, I went to the jazz place to get chicken, and I walked that really long way back. I'm actually going to walk that way because it's quicker to get to the Grand Californian. Got my Mickey Mouse fans on today. Looking cute. I thought these looked a little bit dressier than my uh, Nike walking shoes. And plus my feet are like, no more walking. Thankfully, it's not too cold for me to walk out without my jacket. Um, it's definitely warmer today than it was yesterday. I couldn't even bear coming out without my jacket last night. Um, and actually kind of probably should have had like a winter jacket on last night. It was that cold or at least like a, a nice thicker jacket, but haven't got a cold yet. Touch wood. My feet are just like, please no more. Just sit down. Don't do anything, please. Um, but tomorrow I've got a little bit more of a rest day. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not in the parks. Uh, Tanani and Kieran are taking me out for a day in LA. So planning on going shopping. walking out to the main lobby. Um, you actually have to have a reservation to even walk into the resort. Um, unless you're maybe coming from a different, like maybe that way, I'm not really sure. Um, but they wanted to, they were like, are you a resort guest? And I was like, no, I've got a reservation. And they're like, oh, okay, come on through. Um, but it is gated, so worth mentioning. This is beautiful. Right. 
the middle of It's very wilderness lodge, but like classier wilderness lodge. So amazing. Like the detail on the ceiling is amazing, like with all the rafters and stuff. Very elegant. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. Got such nice stuff. Is that a fridge packet? Yes, that's so cute. Love it. I also love that. Is that a bathroom tile? I want it to be a bathroom tile. I'll have that as a bathroom tile. Here we are. I also have friends. Tanani, Kieran. Hello. <laughs> that was very good for the shot. Thank you very much. <laughs> what? Like what? This what? Where I what? Last time. Oh, nice. What level are we talking? Are we talking like California Grill or like? Okay. Thank you. So the lovely man came over and told us what the breads are, but I'm just going to tell you. It's bread. I don't know what they were. I didn't really, wasn't really paying attention. Delicious bread. Nice little bit of butter. Cute. And this is the menu if you are interested. La la la. Screenshot that if you fancy it. Nice. Thank you. have our sea bass, vanilla clams, Parisian yogi. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks. Share the way. Thank you. <laughs> did you. What did you do? I knocked my fork on the ground. I've gone for a chocolate chunk ice cream. Kieran, what did you get? I got a chocolate creme brulee. Ooh la. Ooh. Nope. <laughs> and it's broken. And it's not I'll Instagrammable anymore. Oh, what did you get, Janani? I have a celebration of winter citrus. Doesn't it look celebratory? I'm very excited. <laughs> Sounds like the next parade. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. <laughs> So that was Napa Rose. I liked it, it was worth the money, but I wouldn't write home about it. It wasn't like going to Yachtsman Steakhouse for the first time and being like, <gasps> this is amazing, you have to go. <laughs> I don't really, I can't really add anything to that. I was like, eh, That's it. That was a nice meal. And yeah. We popped into a very cold downtown Disney to look at World of Disney because, you know, merchandise. <laughs> Just pop back to the room to uh, pick up my passport because we're going to a place tonight called The Blind Rabbit, uh, which is a speakeasy I saw on a, on a Google recommended list, like the best things to do in Anaheim. So I have got a reservation at 10, however it's coming up to 10 o'clock now, so hopefully they will still honor the reservation. Um, otherwise we're gonna be spending an evening doing not a lot. As this place is a speakeasy, but now I've got to find it. Oh yes, <laughs> I, I have a I have a brief there. picture of where the hidden door may be, but we've got to find the place of where the hidden door may be to get in. This is downtown Anaheim. In case you actually didn't know that Anaheim is a place other than just Disneyland, because I didn't. <laughs> so it's like loads of different little mini restaurants combined into one. Oh wow, this place is huge. So we found these crates, this is what I saw, and there was a lady stood at this box, and there's a door in between those things. Well, I don't know what they are. Japanese uh, rice. Stop trying to break in. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Oh, I love how the menu has a light on it. That's a, that's cool. There you go. Thank you. China one moment. She'll be right back. Thank you. This is cool. Super cool. <laughs> Could do it for the, in case you need to get an Instagram whilst you're in here. 
I'll try and give you like a, a feel for the room. So we've got this really cool music up here. Very Hollywood Tower Hotel <laughs> in the queue line. Um, the details are lovely, like this lovely red leather. Um, look, it looks like the type of place you get during Prohibition. Yeah, Prohibition times. The bars very well put together. It looks like like chicken uh, chicken wire on the bottles and stuff. It is mostly like scotch whiskey stuff. So I might end up with a, a bourbon or something. I told our lovely uh, bartender slash waitress uh, that I'm not a big whiskey person, I'd like a sweet drink, and so she's brought me this something called uh, Tropics and the Heavens. Would you mind being my tripod for a second? Of course. Thank you. Oh, it's real good. Oh, it's real good. <laughs> what is this like on the top? I don't know. Should I try it? Yeah. Very refreshing. It's like grapefruit pineapple. Oh, it is like a juice. It's good. Yeah. It's very pineapple y. I'm happy. And not on the menu either. Not on the menu. Oh, it's the wheeze. It's like Game of Thrones. Back into the real world. Do you want to do it for your Insta story? No, it's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Love that. Hello there, future Adam, coming to you not from California, as you can see. I forgot to film an outro for this vlog, so I thought I would just wrap it up for you now. Tanani left shortly before that last clip because he had to go home and see some friends or something. I can't remember now. But basically, he was going home because he had to be up early in the morning and stay out late. And Kieran stays over and we go to Disney first thing in the morning, so you'll be seeing that in next week's vlog, as well as some other fun LA non-Disney stuff. And whilst I'm here, I thought I would let you know about Dream Planner, because when I was filming these vlogs, this wasn't out. Uh, Dream Planner, ooh la la. Uh, this is a follow-up to Dream Guide, and it's basically the tool that you can use to physically plan your holiday. So you can write in your flight information, uh, you can also write wish lists of all the fun things you want to do, so if you want to write all the attractions you'd like to do, dining reservations, characters you want to meet, uh, or if you want to plan out your days, so like, if you want to do day by day, all your fast pass reservations, all your dining reservations, write your packing list, all that fun stuff, it's in here. As well as more pro tips and more fun facts, I, I'm quite excited about this. So it comes out on June 11th, 2019, so if you're watching this in the future, you can buy it now, um, <laughs> whilst I last, or you can pre-order it if you're watching this when the vlog goes live. So, link will be below to Dream Planner, as well as Dream Guide, if you'd like to get a book on uh, loads of information about Walt Disney World. So, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to see all my future stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.